What's up everybody? This is a Predator generator I bought last week. Small one, it's a 3500 running watts. Um, we had Hurricane Michael come through last week and knocked out all the power to uh, the county we live in and most of the surrounding counties too. Most of the whole southwest part of Georgia, I know all the Panhandle of Florida got wiped out, but we were out of power for like six days, so we definitely went and checked on a generator and uh, checked Lowe's out. And um, I could, didn't really do no good with Lowe's, but somebody told me to try Harbor Freight out, so I tried Harbor Freight out, and they had this one for $3.99. And uh, it actually did pretty well, considering you know it was Harbor Freight. I wasn't really sure. I ain't really done no shopping at Harbor Freight, so. I bought it, got it here, hooked everything that I could possibly could up to it, and ran it. And I didn't. It did pretty good on gas too. It didn't do too bad on gas. Uh, but uh, we got the power back on, of course. Uh, <clears throat> it's got the um, 212cc. Um, I'm not sure what type of engine it is. Uh, it's not a Briggs and Stratton, but I've heard online that these are Honda clones or something. I don't really know, honestly, but. Uh, it's got your fuel shut off. It's, it's pull cord. It's not the, the electric start. It's got the cast overhead valve. So, from what I understand, that's a good feature to have on it. And then it's just, you know, you flip the yump switch right there, and then you got your 120 plugs right here, and then your uh, 240 right here if you're going to plug it up to your house. And you got a cigarette lighter right there. Uh, your oil right here. Well, you check your oil, but you got one on the back side too. And yes, it's got oil in it. I'm gonna change, I'm about to change it here in a few minutes. I'm gonna rig something up because that's what I, this way you check the oil or change it or whatever you put oil into. It's kind of awkward how you do it. That's the only thing I've seen that's kind of irritating about it. That's your drain plug right there. You got a dipstick and a drain plug on both sides. And of course, this has a low alert light right here. It goes off of. It shuts the machine down if it's low on oil, but I ain't really got no complaints with it. You know, for $3.99, I mean, Harbor Freight, I mean, I was kind of shocked at how well it done. Um, I'm just putting some basic 10 weight 30 I found at one of the nearby stores. I, I'm just putting some basic stuff, uh, oil in it that I found, and then I'm gonna top it off, whatever's left to be topped off on some the oil I put in my truck. And uh, I'm gonna change it because I don't really like leaving, especially an engine. I know it's gonna sit up for a while. I don't like leaving old oil sitting in the bottom of it and all that, you know, whatever the, the stuff that's in it, you know, just sitting on the bottom of the engine for no tell how many months or possibly a year that it's gonna sit up. So I'm going to do a cold start on it. Um, I have not ran it this morning. It ain't been raining probably since about four or five days now. I went ahead and turned my gas on while I go go ahead and let the carburetor fill up with gas. But I am going to uh, crank it up. And it's been normally crank it up like the first or second pull. So uh, I'm going to let it run for a minute and show that it runs good or hopefully it runs good. Um, then I'm going to do oil change on it. So let's see if I can do this and hold the phone at the same time. And I give it a little bit of slack, not much. Hang on. It might help if I turn that switch on. Make sure the switch is on. That's so cool. Then, cranking up a lot of the second pull, but kind of shot it went off with the first pull. 